Namaste, good morning and welcome. So we are doing UHV3 in the morning sessions and in UHV3, we are doing the practice session exercise two, observing the self and the body by the self. And we were discussing step three. So in step three, we were, or if we start back from step one, in step one, we were seeing the two realities, the self and the self exists. I can see that because I can see my imagination. I can see the activities going on within me. And I can see that the body is there because I can read the sensations from the body. So I know that the body is also there. That was step one of exercise two. Then in step two, we were trying to observe the interaction between the self and the body. And we noticed that I give some instructions to the body. That is a kind of information. And the body follows. Now, I give those instructions that I think are important when they are important for me. And so different people will have different instructions that they feel are important to the body depending on my preconditioning and so on. Then in the body also many sensations are taking place. I read only those sensations that I think are important. I taste the sensation that I read, meaning I you know, get some, you know, um, the sensation that is there in the body, I am trying to get a feel for what it is and what I need to do with it. So with that sensation, I may decide to do something with it. So I may instruct the body further to do something. So this sensation is also an information. So what is being said is that this interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information. No physical thing is being transferred from the self to the body or from the body to the self. The body is a distinct identity. The self is a distinct identity. The two are in coexistence. There is no hardwired connection between the two. In step three, we were observing who is the decision maker. And we said that I am the one who is deciding what instructions to give to the body, when to give to the body. I am the one who is deciding what sensations to read from the body. So I am the decision maker regarding all this exchange of information between, the, between myself and the body. I interact with the body only when I require from time to time. And much of the time I may be busy with myself, not really interacting with the body much. So I'm basically using the body for doing whatever I need to do with the outside, whether it be trying to get some information about the outside, whether it be trying to do something outside, whether it be trying to express my thoughts, my feelings outside and so on. So we said that I'm the seer, I'm the doer, I'm the experiencer or the enjoyer. 
and I am using the body to see. When we say see, I am using the body to see. I am using the sensations, using the sense organs of the body to see. But I am the one who is choosing, deciding to see what I want to see. So I am the observer and I am using the body like a tool. Then I decide what to do and accordingly I give instructions to the body and the body just follows. So therefore I am the doer. And as a result of whatever I think and do, whatever I see and do, the experience that happens, that is in me, whether I am happy or unhappy with this, that experience or that enjoyment, if you want to say, is experienced by me. Then yesterday we tried to do one assignment to sit in a comfortable position, trying not to change the body position for 10 minutes, keeping the eyes open or closed and observing the interaction with the body. What could we tell from that? Those few minutes that we spent yesterday, we didn't have much time to take the feedback. But this is an important exercise because here you will see this, you know, what is happening within the self and what is happening in the body. And you'll be able to observe this interaction. You'll be able to observe your thoughts. You'll be able to observe your feelings. And you'll also be able to observe how you are giving the instruction to the body before the body can make that change. So if you were able to notice this and you would like to discuss it, or if you have any question regarding this interaction, we can discuss it now. Namaste, Sabhiko. Am I audible, Didi? Yes, you are audible. Yeah, I was able to do this uh, yesterday also. Uh, but the duration was very less. Mm -hmm. so I just wanted to share this. Yesterday, I tried it two times uh, during the day. But mm -hmm. I could only observe for five minutes. Mm -hmm. After five minutes, I had this urge to, you know, do something else. Mm -hmm. So at one time, I was having this urge to change my posture, sitting posture. Mm -hmm. And at the other time, when I was sitting at that second, second time, I had my eyes closed and there was a message on my phone. <laughs> and I had this, you know, okay, there is a message. So I opened my eyes and just saw what is, what is there on my phone. Yeah. So yeah, and today morning also I woke up early and I just sat. So I observed that yesterday the self was, you know, very much distracted. I mm -hmm. was very much distracted. So, mm -hmm. But today morning, maybe because it is my home and it's early in the morning and I am free, I don't have much to do. So I was comfortable. I sat in one position, same position I chose, and I was comfortable and I could see that most of the time, the self is busy with the self only. Mm -hmm. It is only when the self feels that the sensation outside is important, that it pays attention to the outside. Yes. Otherwise, I am busy you know, with myself only. Mm -hmm. And there you may no... not even be aware that the body is there. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm busy with myself only and very, very few thoughts and not much disturbed. I was not much disturbed and it was comfortable. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when there are so many thoughts, I am just sitting, not doing anything. But when there are many thoughts, then I feel a heaviness in my head. Again, but keep it open. When we yeah. say few thoughts and many thoughts, yes, you may still be having many thoughts, but perhaps 
the conflict is not there yes 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 i, Didi, I am observing that. this also that the conflict is not there ah so yes. then you don't feel the tiredness you don't feel the heaviness yes you yes calm, you're comfortable yes nice very nice thank you didi namaskar madam namaskar to all uh, madam am i audible yes you are audible oh uh, thank you so yesterday when we were uh, doing uh, in group the exercise through online as instructed by you uh, i observed in that 5 uh, minutes time uh, i am getting sensations uh, from the senses but uh, as you told to sit quietly uh, i did not do anything means instruction is not there from the self i simply just uh, uh, listen let's look at it again just one moment let's look at it again ah madam madam when you thank say you. i get the sensation what ah, is yeah. there uh, means my self is uh, uh, sensing that my self sensing that but no, uh, in a, in reaction i did not do anything yeah uh, i am reading the sensation no? yeah 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 i am getting now but, uh, no i am getting means somebody else is giving it to me ah uh, yeah because my ears uh, are listening that a bird sound and all yeah but see you are listening to my sound also ah uh, yeah yeah speaking ah no? uh, yeah 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 and when i am speaking you may not be paying attention to the bird sound yeah really madam so the sensations are there there i mean this, this through the sense organ many sounds are reaching through the ears mm. but you are choosing you are deciding to read some sensation at a particular moment no mm, yeah yeah but uh, i uh, i'm not responding i can say i'm not concentrating on any other sensation let us do one at a time yeah. so rather than say i am getting the sensation then it hmm. puts the responsibility on somebody else somebody is giving it to me yeah yeah is yeah like that or is it that i am choosing and reading a particular yeah sentence? yeah 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 yes so, madam there is a difference yes that yes. is one thing the other thing you said i am not giving any instruction to the body yeah is that so or you are instructing the body not to move yeah i am instructing the body not to move Ah, so that is also an instruction, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, madam. So you will notice this that you yeah. are the one who is reading the sensation, hmm. you are the one who is giving the instruction. The body hmm. will follow. Yeah. Yes, madam. Now, what if, what if um, that uh, like that Sujee mentioned? What if the phone rings or a message comes? Hmm. Uh, then uh, suppose if it is important it tempts us to uh, how do you know give. it's important you have yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 because we feel it is important again my <laughs> mind <laughs> my mind yesterday it happened madam actually last uh, yesterday i was uh, uh, going to another college as an external examiner then uh, i did not find time because it is very long then in the bus i tried three times i tried madam but hmm. three times people interrupted me uh, uh i was trying not to move from my posture but uh, three times also people interrupted me uh, so please uh, uh, I, i have to go there please uh, uh, move uh, like that uh, so in the morning i tried in the early morning today uh, sit i was able to sit calmly for 10 minutes as you gave the assignment uh, my mind is uh, filled with uh, thoughts only Uh, but the thoughts as you told uh, uh, they are with uh, less conflicts uh, when compared to the previous thoughts mm. uh, sensations uh, i read this uh, some sensations uh, but uh, experience is same as we have just discussed and uh, one more thing i observed madam mm. self has no ability Uh, means to at this mo- my moment at this state uh, self has no ability to see or uh, taste 
uh, as the physical objects are without the help of uh, the organs senses that i observed suppose if i want to see uh, my book uh, i have to see through eye only without the help of eye myself cannot see the picture that you don't know <laughs> that i ah, that i don't know that's why you are not able to do it that doesn't mean that the self can't do it ah uh, yeah yeah yes madam because in scriptures i studied but i don't know that's why as it is i am telling yeah so self can't do it with such confidence we can't say because ah uh, no 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 I, i can't do i am i am unable to do at this moment that's why i told if you are aware many children have been put through this skill uh -huh. they have learned to read blindfolded okay 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 madam because you can tap that potential in this and the self yes madam yes we don't use that ability we don't use much of the potential of the self yes madam so i believe in it its abilities no we are limited by what we can see through the body yeah but in yeah. fact through the self you can see much more than what you can see through the gross eyes through the body mm -hmm. so so we can keep it open we don't need to close the issue yeah yes madam uh, because why i have told this third question you gave what conclusions can you draw from your observations you gave na that's why i am adding this <laughs> this conclusion i have drawn ha huh. so the conclusion can be that at this time i am not able to uh -huh. see without the see outside yeah madam without the help of the body but hmm you can still see within hmm you think no within yeah you. yeah madam yeah you will find much of the time you are spending with yourself only yeah yes that i observed sometimes you are interacting with the body hmm no hmm yes madam nice hmm thank you madam thank you priti namaste didi i would like to um divide my observation in two parts like how i first sensed by the body and then uh, second by the self like yesterday when i was sitting for observation i could hear the sound of vehicle sound of birds so i could sense it through my ears and it was raining also yesterday so i could uh, the rain was not like uh, heavy rain for it was like drizzling so the sound of uh, the water was like very dim but i could make out through my ears and uh, the smell which i was getting the falling water on the soil that kind of se uh, smell through my nose so mm -hmm. these are the senses of the body which received first okay and then the second part where self work like the clothes are lying outside i should go and uh, bring the clothes inside otherwise it will get wet and another act was like i bought uh, items for rashan yesterday so where to keep which item that also kind of you know picture was forming mm. uh, myself so the, in this way i could relate like okay how the senses is first read by the body and then what i have to do after that Uh, that was taken up by the self not necessarily that it is a consequence of that okay perhaps we paid attention to the outside first but what was going on within you was nothing related to what you the sensations you read you no know, from outside through the body isn't it yeah maybe because i could notice and i could observe that why i decided that this was taken up by this or this was taken up by that That's yeah so you will notice that much of the time you are busy with yourself only mm. it's only rarely that you are paying attention to you know the body okay so a lot of times you will be busy in your own thoughts have you heard of absent mindedness yes 
So a lot of times we may be so busy in our thoughts, we forget whether we turned off the light or not, whether we turned off the gas or not. Huh? Mm -hmm. We are absent-minded. What is that absent-mindedness? That is this only. I am so busy with my thoughts. I am not aware of what action I am doing. Outside, I have instructed the body also to do something, but I am not aware of it. Yeah. No? I'm giving the instruction also sometimes, but I may not be aware of it. I'm lost in my own thoughts. Mm -hmm. So all this is possible and you can see this happening in yourself. No? Right. Didi, one, more, one more question I have. Uh, yesterday's question, which was related to self-regulation. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like the I don't know how, whether I'm right or not. Like if I see, when I see separately self and body, mm -hmm. then self-organization in the body and uh, like self-organization in the body, I can see like when the reproduction process start, like after fertilization, cell division, cell differentiation, implantation in uterus. This is, is this a, body activity of self-organization? Well, yeah, to some extent, once the process starting, you know, once the egg is fertilized, in fact, you will notice many things in the body. Why only this? Mm -hmm. So many processes that are going on in the body, which you are not directly are giving instruction for right right like all kind of light processes uh, like circulation breathing digestion i am not paying attention but it's going on yeah so it this will come under the self organization of the body yes but at the same time i am involved right right mm -hmm. because <coughs> you at will many things mm -hmm. when i want to i can change it at will Right, right, right. You do and prana, what is that? You're changing your breath patterns at will. Right. No? So all those changes we can do, so I'm definitely involved, but I don't have to go giving second to second, moment to moment instructions. Mm -hmm. Body does many things on its own as part of its self-organization. Right. I could also see Vivi when like when self is associated with the body, then the learning and decision making activities um, activated. This this would be the self activities or the self organization. What do you and mean? I didn't get you. I didn't understand what you said. Like um, after implantation, after four months, when the self is associated with the body, then the baby will start, you know, moving hands and legs, and you know they will decide to move the kind of movement they want to do. So will it be the self-activity or the, the, the self-organization or association of both body and self? No, once the self is associated, then self may be instructing the body. No? Right, right, right. So then they will have the impact and reflection of both like body and self. What do you mean? I don't get it. Like bodies, uh, some part of the activities of the body will impact self and some part of the uh, self activity will impact body. They will yeah, be an association. The association is already there. Why go right. to something that is not yet happened or, you know, you can see right now for yourself. Try uh -huh. and see for yourself rather than some other hypothetical situation. Right, so if right. you see for yourself, you will see you are associated with the body right now. Uh -huh. yeah. Some things are going on in the body, but you have the capacity to make a difference there. You can change right. many things that are going on in the body. Yeah? Right. So like we talked of the breath pattern. Uh -huh. You give instruction to the body to run one kilometer, your heart rate changes. 
but you are not instructing separately that now change the heart rate. Mm -hmm. That part is happening when you do this. But you being in association are changing many things in the body from time to time. So right. the body, you know, just like any other material unit, it has its own self-organization. And its self-organization is such that it tends to try to be in harmony. Right. But if I don't understand things, I keep giving instructions to the contrary or I keep having feelings and thoughts not in line with my natural acceptance and I keep interfering with the harmony in the body. So when I have you know, the understanding of the body, when I understand the self-organization of the units, when I have the right understanding, then I will, you know, have this feeling of self-regulation within me to take care of the body, to nurture the body, to protect the body, to utilize it in the right manner. At least I will not disturb the harmony of the body. No? Right. Thank you, Tizi. Thank you. Okay, so um, in this assignment, if you can go a little forward. This part four we had already done okay, before the assignment. Now, Five and six, if you look at that, when you are deep in thought, are you interacting with the body? One is you may be interacting with the body, but not aware of it. The other is you may not be interacting with the body. You may be lost in your own thoughts and you are not even aware. You're not giving any instruction to the body. And what happens when you respond to a sound, a flash of light or a touch? Who is deciding the response, you or the body? The other day we had a question about reflex, reflexes. So many a times these are also considered reflex actions. Suddenly there is a sound and you turn around. What is happening there? Who is deciding? the response. You are deciding or the body is deciding. Can you put in the chat? I am only deciding. Body will do whatever I tell it to. Okay, nice. So, with this, we'll come to a close of step three. Before we go on to step four, we will do very briefly, we'll go through lecture 10 and 11. So Sunilji, if we can put that slide up, lecture 10 and 11. We're doing it together because it is more or less a repetition. It is talking about the exercises, essentially. So we'll not spend much time on these lectures also, 10 and 11. So this is module three, where we are coming to the activities of the self. In 10 and 11, if you, next slide please. If you look at this module three, the main thing is to understand the human being. So 
So we already spoke of understanding human being, nature, and existence. So this part deals with understanding the human being. That the human being is coexistence of self and body. What are the activities of the self? Hmm? When do we have harmony in the self? When we do we have contradiction? I think we are all aware of this. As we go further, when we do the higher activities, then we'll spend more time on the activities. But this, I think, is um, quite clear that when we have feelings and thoughts that are in line with our natural acceptance, we are in harmony. When there's contradiction in these thoughts, in the feelings, then we are in disarmony. It, disturb, it is disturbing. So, um, then we are just talking in this about understanding the human being as coexistence of self and body. One is we tried to do, you know, through the chart, trying to logically see the differences, the needs, the activities, the responses. The other is to directly try to observe this. So we tried to directly observe also through exercise one and two. And two, we have come up to step three. We'll go further after this. Then, Later, we'll also talk from lectures 12 to 14. We'll talk about the higher activities and the potential in the self in some little more detail. Lecture 14, we'll be discussing the reasons for harmony and contradiction in the self. Lecture 15, the sources of happiness in light of all these. Next slide. So in lecture 10 and 11, we are just trying to understand this by, you know, understand the human being as coexistence of self and body by looking at the self directly through exercise one and by looking at the body and the interaction between the self and the body through exercise two. So since we have already done some of these direct observations, I don't think we have to go through the discussion about this. We can go further. Yeah, we can go further. Go further. Further, further, we keep going. For all this we covered. So, we said all this, no, that the eyes are not required to see. All this we have, since we have directly done the observation, now we don't need to go through this. Um, yeah. Um, so this is just saying that the human being is coexistence of self and body. Next slide. Of course, this is the very familiar chart that we have all been through. Next slide. It's about knowing, assuming, recognizing, and fulfilling. This also we discussed in quite some detail earlier on. But if we have any questions, then that is, you know, it's more or less a repetition. Therefore, we are not spending that much time on it. But if there is any doubt or any observation, any question, we can take that. You can open up this slide fully. So we said that in the body, there is only recognition and fulfillment. So the conduct is definite. In the self, 
there is this assuming and knowing it's not just recognizing and fulfilling whatever we assume you can say accept so whatever we accept as true or believe to be true that decides our recognition and fulfillment this is what we said so ultimately if we are having some preconditioning some assumption but we don't know then on the basis of that we have some conduct we decide something and our recognition and fulfillment is based on that if the assumption changes our recognition and fulfillment may also change and we took many examples of this also so the conduct keeps changing based on my assumption isn't it so if i believe i have a relationship with xyz then i behave a certain way with them and i behave a different way with the others because i assume i don't have relationship with those and so on you can have definite conduct once we get to knowing once our acceptances are not just based on some preconditioning but now we can directly observe everything within ourselves and even if we are not able to directly observe everything right now we can start by acting on the basis of the natural acceptance so if we refer to the natural acceptance and then on the basis of that you know we verify things for ourselves and live according to that then our acceptances will become definite on the basis of either knowing or at least referring to the natural acceptance then we can have we are not dependent on the outside on the situation on some belief but we directly know we can see and we have definite conduct so if there are any questions on this we we'll take it otherwise we'll move forward okay let's move forward this is basically saying the same thing the self and the body the self is a unit of consciousness the body is a material unit the consciousness unit in time it is continuous material unit in time it is temporary we come to the response in the body there is just recognition and fulfillment the body does not have choice in the matter and there is definiteness in the conduct of the body in the self this recognition and fulfillment is colored by or dependent on the assumption or whatever we have accepted to be true based on that so this acceptance may be with knowing or without knowing if it is without knowing then as our acceptance changes our conduct also changes behavior also changes but if we can get to knowing if we can directly observe everything within us then there are no questions left then our acceptances are in line with knowing and so our recognition and fulfillment becomes definite 
any questions on any of this so whatever we are doing i think i am please correct me if i am not correct the body recognizes the need for example if i am hungry the body recognizes that i am hungry you know, the body is hungry then it passes the information to the self and then self no 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 is it like no. this no 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 okay can you body just... there is some sensation in the body okay no at a fixed time you eat food every day you eat food at a particular time no yes so some secretions happen in the body in relation to the sun cycle the daily cycle no sun comes up secretions start forming in the body something start happening you can see this even in trees no yes um, yes when the sun comes up the leaves start opening up so some changes happen you notice those changes when the sun goes down the leaves close isn't it yes yes dear similarly changes are happening in the body also based on the time of day and so on the season things like that now in the body many sensations may be there so this sensation which i have given the word the term hunger when i get that sensation if i instruct the body to take food that sensation comes down so i call it hunger body doesn't feel hungry body has that sensation i have to read that sensation decide that i need to give food to the body instruct the body to take the food then the body takes food you can see very clearly this like we took the example like something it is time for me to eat food hmm? there is hunger also i can get that sensation i am reading that sensation now a phone call comes and says are you didn't finish this uh, that paper you were writing and now there is a meeting and we have to submit it right now in another 15 minutes now what happens are you aware of that hunger now hmm? now the paper is more important <laughs> so yes. we think paper is more important then we give more attention to the paper yes now food is forgotten hunger is forgotten body has a problem body doesn't have any problem body is continuing waiting not even waiting i would say that you know that is it will just go along with whatever you decide even if it is not nurturing for the body the body doesn't have a choice in the matter right so after some time when you have finished doing that and something else happened and something else happened two hours later or three hours later you finally eat your food the body can digest the food best the body can assimilate it best if the food is given to the body between 12 and 2 for lunch but today because we thought something else was more important we eat lunch at 3 o'clock body doesn't refuse body just goes along and tries to manage with whatever there is it has no choice in the matter hmm? does that help to clarify something yes 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 dipi uh huh ma'am Uh, yesterday um, um, you said that uh, when we uh, are stressed our uh, uh, stomach becomes upset so that happens uh, what may be the reason what will be the sequence of events in that 
observe rather than just uh, try to get information out of curiosity i didn't understand your question also properly like ma'am uh, if we think too much uh, if we are stressed yesterday we um, uh, ma'am said uh, that uh, our stop, uh, stomach becomes upset yeah a lot of things things will happen if uh. you are stressed means what na if you are stressed and then um, uh, that um, our heart beat increases etc no no but what does it mean that you are stressed no. when you say when we say you are stressed what does it mean hmm. so basically you are describing some symptoms in the body but essentially you are the one who is stressed no uh. supposing you plan too many things and you not able to do it in that much time now you get restless now you get disturbed <coughs> oh i can't do this and what to do now and you're panicking this is stress isn't it uh, uh. any kind of conflict within you is creating this discomfort in you which is stress hmm? yeah uh. then how it uh, uh, it is uh, shown as um, maybe stomach upset or heart beat increase Uh, so self self only directing or is it because of the heat or something uh, that is produce excessive heat see every unit is reflecting onto every unit we answered this several times earlier every yeah. unit is being reflected onto every other unit mm -hmm. so the self will have some impact on the body body also has some impact on the self but if you see the self is far more subtle than the body body is gross self is subtle mm. so the self has the potential to overcome this impact of the body but body doesn't have any such potential to overcome the impact mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. body keep body does have its mm. own self organization and it tries to return back into harmony like when you sleep you are not giving any instruction to the body but liver detoxification is happening kidney detoxification is happening as you sleep mm. Mm, this is part of the body's own self organization mm. but while this is happening mm, while all this self organization of the body is taking care of all this na to try to bring it back to harmony so that mm. next day again it is fresh and back to normal mm. this it tries to do every time as part of its own self organization you don't have to instruct it mm. but if you do this again and again you disturb the harmony again and again and again then it will lead to some disturbance in the body which becomes uh not just temporary but may lead to permanent disharmony mm -hmm. so you have small children they are active the body is fine everything is fine mm -hmm. as they grow older you know they have more and more what we call stress mm -hmm. and uh, contradictions and so many things and this is all having some impact on the body so you find you say in middle mid life or so these kind of diseases come up like high blood pressure and diabetes mm -hmm. so mm. what is all this these are also lifestyle disorders what we call what is lifestyle disorder mm. so when we don't understand the body properly we are ourselves having some you know contradictions within the cell which is being passed on to the body and then the instructions that we are giving to the body are also No, not with understanding so we may instruct it to eat the wrong kind of things at the wrong time and so on like we were just discussing eating mm -hmm. at 3 o'clock 4 o'clock mm -hmm. time at that time the body cannot assimilate things properly it cannot you know if you are putting food into the system at that time it cannot handle it properly so one two three times okay but every day if we are doing this then the body will you know it will take a toll on the body 
And the body will not have a choice in the matter. Does that help? Mm, uh, ma'am, my uh, doubt was when, um, when we see uh, some horrifying scene. So mm. uh, the heartbeat increases and which is just recognized by the uh, self. How uh, does the heartbeat increase? Uh, uh, that is, that you are is seeing point. some horrifying thing. So you uh. have some thoughts, you have some feelings within you, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and I was asking the same that whether it is just a reflex, just like uh, when we touch this a horse. What I'm saying, thing. just try to observe within yourself. Uh -uh. Today, if you see a horrifying movie, uh -uh. try to see what is happening within you first. Mm -hmm. You get scared, you know. Mm -hmm. You feel uncomfortable. You know, uh, so, so it uh, self has an effect in, on that also. Certainly. So, mm -hmm. Every thought, every feeling that I have, which could be changing every moment, has an impact on the body, certainly. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So let's uh, try to observe for some time. Um, if we go further, there is an assignment. Maybe we'll spend five odd minutes to try to see this. Hmm? Observe yourself and your interaction with the body. I would say let's do the second one. Observe yourself and your body. Now check by direct observation whether recognition and fulfillment of the body is definite while recognition and fulfillment of the self is dependent on its assuming or knowing and assuming. Hmm? So, even if we are not able to do the whole thing, at least let us try to see what is happening in the self, what is happening in the body directly. And you will notice that Sometimes you can see that connection. Why sometimes? Many times you'll be able to observe this. That you have some thoughts, some feelings. And then you notice something, some changes in the body also. So we'll try to do this for five minutes. And then we'll take your observations quickly. I'll meet myself here. Okay, we are almost out of time also. We've been observing for a few minutes. So this is what we have to do today. I'll put this in the group also as the assignment. And whatever our findings, our observations are, we can discuss them tomorrow. So we'll stop here.